and welcome back to Realmscraft with SRJ26, or otherwise known as Steve Johnson. And I am doing part four of the World Edit tutorial tonight. The first three have shown you uh, how to use area selections and how to use brushes. And this one is going to cover one thing that I had forgotten about and also talk about um, how to deal with uh, using the super pickaxe, which is a new tool that I haven't told you about. So I just selected this block. There's one thing I forgot to mention about working with selections, and that is you can move them. Move one north. Move one south. To go. Oh, interesting. So when you move it, the block moves, but the area selection stays where it was. So I just select it again, move one south. If I do it again, move one south, nothing happens. Oh, it moved the air. So when you use slash slash move, the area selection stays where it was, but the block that was there gets shifted. So if you do it again, you'll be moving what was there, or the, the air and you can actually specify what replaces it. So move one south, dirt moves it south and replaces it with dirt. If you leave it blank, it'll replace it with air. So that's move, but I, I never use move. That's probably why I forgot about it. So uh, the super pickaxe. The super pickaxe is, I usually use a wooden pickaxe, and the way to enable the instant or the super pickaxe is slash slash and their super pickaxe is now enabled. And it is a fairly versatile tool. For a long time I used it uh, as one of my primary tools. The first thing I learned to do with it is replace blocks. So slash R-E-P-L uh, stone. And now my super pickaxe will replace blocks with stone if I right click. So replace with water. So now you'll see if I do it with water it'll replace the block with water, but then I can't click it again. Because you see it goes straight through. Just kind of weird. So it's a little wonky, but uh, everything in Minecraft is a little wonky. It's kind of a wonky game. Let me put this back, replace grass, and oh, I can't bind it to the block. Now I'll do it, replace grass. And with the super pickaxe, it's R-E-P-L and it's one slash. When you're working with an area, it's two slashes and replace. And you'll figure that out just through trial and error. And obviously I still screw it up sometimes. So that's the super pickaxe. It can be really useful. If you have a tower and you want to put some designs in it, you can create it using cylinder or hollow cylinder tools. And then you can use the super pickaxe to change certain blocks so that you get the look and feel you want without actually having to uh, remove the block and replace it. So it's a pretty nice tool. But there are other things you can do with it, like tree. Boom. Instant tree. You can also do slash slash forest gen. Now let's say 10. Oh, I always get that wrong. Forest gen 10. Boom. And I'm stuck. I'm going to show you something else. Okay, so forest gen will generate a small forest based on the number you put in. That's the size. Undo. And if you're ever stuck somewhere, so let's do that again. Forest gen. Uh, 40 pine. Okay, so 40 blocks around me it created a pine forest. And let's say I was stuck up here in the tree somewhere. I'll even go up here. There we go. Okay, let's say I'm stuck up in the tree. Let's say I can't get out. I'll put something in place so that I can't get out. Okay, oh no, I'm stuck. Help, help. Uh, you can do slash ascend. You can also do slash descend. You can do slash unstuck. Well, actually, I'm not stuck, but you can do slash unstuck if you're actually in a block as a result of creating something. And you can do slash through, and that will get you out, although apparently there's no free spot ahead of me. But let me 
see if I can undo. Good. Okay, I can undo it. Excellent. So um, the next thing I'm going to show you is also with the super pickaxe, and it is the info tool. Uh, actually, I'll show you the none. None will disable or unbind your tool. I've actually occasionally done this. Uh, let's do uh, tree. Great. Now my tree tool is bound to my redstone dust. Undo. Okay, fabulous. But let's say I want to actually build something with redstone, and I did that accidentally. All right, I'll put some redstone down. La la la. And now I'll put down my tree. That's not good. So we undo, and we can do slash none. And now we can put down a redstone dust. So none is actually pretty important. I had a few days where I didn't realize it was there, and uh, I did this exact thing with redstone dust. It was rather, um, it, it wasn't a good thing. So the next thing I'm going to show you is slash info. Oh, but not to the redstone dust. Sorry. Let me get back to my pickaxe. There we go. Info. Info is really important because uh, I'm going time day no one's on the server okay so you bind your info tool to your pickaxe this is all right clicking I right click on the dirt and it tells me that is dirt it's number three that's block number three and there's a bunch of other numbers there and this is grass number two and the zero is the data value in the brackets there and then you've got zero out of 15 so let me show you a couple of things here let's get some orange wool and let's get, I don't know, some yellow wool. Actually, no, let's, let's be uh, good rias, and I'll do red and black. So, got your black wool, got your red wool. Now, when I right-click the black wool, it says number 35 wool. And the red wool is number 35 wool. Well, that's not very helpful. But it's 15, so the data value is 15. So if I want to, say, do REPL, and do wool, but I want it to be red, which I think it was 14, we'll do colon 14. And now, we can put down some red wool. And now if I do REPL wool colon 15, now we can put down our black wool. So the data value is really important. Um, let me get rid of this here and let me clear out see it's faster to do it with set grass than to actually change it one by one oh I've got an apple oh I must have destroyed a tree okay Boop. Uh, next to show you is the cycler the cycler is an interesting tool cycler alright block data cycler so let's see if it works on wool. Actually, I'm curious. It should. Look at that. So what I'm doing is I'm cycling through the data values of this block. And because wool is uh, 35, I think, the color is defined by the data value. But there are other things that also have data values. And let me show you what those are. Let's go with a furnace. So you've got your furnace. Boom. And our data value rotates it. So it's rotating around. And the same thing goes for stairs. So you've got your stair, and you're going to hit the data value, and it's sort of spinning around. And uh, some things don't have data values. Um, so you know a lot of them will be 0, and the cycler tool has no purpose whatsoever with those guys. And that is the super pickaxe. So, I've shown you the brush, I've shown you the super pickaxe, I've shown you area selections, and I've shown you uh, the move tool that I never use, and I've shown you, oh, your utilities, all right. Let's set time to night. So, there are utilities. There are other things you can do. And one of them, let's see if we have any mobs here. You can kill mobs butcher and then you put a radius around you butcher 281 mobs around me I'm sure they've already spawned so let me actually go 
time day so you can see them. Look at all those monsters. Butcher 200, and they're all gone. So Butcher is a nice little tool. What's that? I'm leaving blocks around. How did I do that? Okay, um, so Butcher is a good tool. Uh, there are a lot of other tools that you can use. Let me go, um, let's do uh, snow. Boom. Oh my goodness. That is a lot of surfaces. Okay, so I covered everything in snow. If you do thaw, all the snow goes away, which is really pretty nice. Um, so, wow, that's a lot. Look at all that. Goodness gracious. I'm surprised I haven't crashed the server. Okay, so you can thaw, you can snow, you can uh, butcher. I don't even know where I'm flying, but hopefully somewhere with water, because there are also some other things I want to show you before our time runs out for today. And one of them is, well, I'll just use the easy way. Um, let me see. Brush, sphere, uh, air, five. Boom. Okay, let's come down here, and I'm going to show you a couple more. Oh, cow. Cows are really obnoxious. All right, let's do uh, fill. You can fill an area. So I'm going to fill water, and I'll do 10. Oh, wait, try again. Fill water 10. Ah, I need double slash. That's one thing you'll notice is the double slash and single slash, there's not a lot of rhyme or reason. You just got to learn it. Fill water 10. Boom. So 10 block radius around me, it filled with water. So now we have a nice little pool. And you can drain. Drain 10. Boom. Uh, did I do it wrong? Drain 10. There you go. Okay, so you got a double slash. And you can fill with anything. Fill, uh, what's a good? Glowstone. I love glowstone. Boom. And now the entire cavity there has been filled with glowstone. And I can undo. And to end this part, I will fill. Uh, actually, I'm going to do another fill with water. Uh, water, 10. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to mess up the water. How am I going to mess it up? Well, let's we'll see. Alright, so I just broke all those blocks from below. What that does is it prevents the blocks, uh, prevents the water from creating a new source block. That is a water source block. This is a water flowing block. If you have two water source blocks flowing into the same block, Boom, new source block. But over here, because I broke it from below, it didn't do that. It wasn't able to do that. So I can fix water 10. Let's see if that works. Hey, look at that. Fix water 10. So fix water 10 will fix that problem. So if you're in the middle of the ocean or docks or, you know, a seaport or whatever, and you've got some water that's all screwed up and it's flowing, even though it really doesn't look like it should be, you can fix water. And I think that's all we've got time for. So thank you for watching. Um, I'm going to drain 20 and then fill dirt, uh, grass 20, and we are done. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I hope you've learned something, and uh, I guess I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.